No gravity broomstick. Homestead style. So fear is good for business. I'm selling the last of my rabbits. I just had this guy right here come by. He took all my rabbits, all my chickens. So I wasn't even gonna sell chickens, but he saw that I had chickens. He wanted to know if I had any for sale. And as you guys know who watch me, uh, I have an incubator and I've been incubating eggs all winter all winter long and I really do it for friends that kind of thing their kids because you can't buy chicks in the winter time so he wanted to have the rest of them I couldn't sell the rest of them but I sold each chick for 10 bucks a piece and I said that was my price and he uh, happily took that offer so you know there's you know you can make some money off prep and make money off your preps guys so I'm asking him, you know, so, you know, what do you, you know, what do you want to do with all of them, this, that, and the other? He's like, well, I'm really into sustainability. I'm like, that's awesome, me too. And he starts talking about the Wuhan virus and how he's going to self-quarantine himself for the next couple months because of the long incubation time. And I'm like, wow, we've got a live one here. And so, you know, good on him. I'm glad I was able to help, but it just goes to show you that I don't think this virus, I have anything to worry about. There's nothing to worry about, but people really buy into this idea that this pan this can be the next pandemic that takes out 60 percent of the population of the of the earth so you know if it means they want to buy some rabbits i'm all about it but i'm not really all that worried about it so as you can see right here i just sold my last two rabbits same thing they are prepared minded they are a little nervous about the activities going on in early, this early year, 2020, I should say. That's how they described it. So I literally just made over $200 in less than an hour. I'm telling you, if you're getting to preparedness, make your preps work for you. So these people, these two people I met that literally have taken all my animals in <laughs> less than an hour, you know, I, they are really preparing for the, the end of the, the end of the world. They really believe that 6% of the population of the world is going to be destroyed by this pandemic. And, you know, it's one of those things where you see the hyperbolic language online. And I, I, I'm always trying to use facts and reasoning and, you know, trying to, people will say troll, but I just, I want to know where your honest thinking comes from. And, these people, it, you know, to them, this is real. To them, this is like the next Y2K. Um, the way the first guy described it, he's like, it's it's the new 9-11. And it's just, they really feel this way. And I'm glad I'm able to give them a product at a fair price that they can use. And it's going to be something that they can prepare their families with. But I think the hyperbolic language is a little too much. And I don't think there's anything to be that worried about. So what I've learned from this whole situation is to be prepared keep raising my animals and taking care of my family. So it's been two days since I sold my last litter and all my baby chickens and I can tell you I got people just lining up wanting to get um, rabbits from my next two litters that I have. One that's four days old, one that's uh, six weeks old so in two weeks I'll be able to sell another litter of rabbits and people are just lining up because people are scared. People are fearful and I don't want people to be fearful. I want you to prep responsibly. I want you to do things that make sense, that go with science, that fall into the sphere of reality. In the grand scheme of things, these people are just trying to make money off you. These big YouTube channels that have affiliate programs with Amazon, their own website, they're not letting any good disaster go to waste. They're trying to profit, they're trying to make money off you, they're trying to sell you fear. They're trying to motivate you with fear. Don't be that person. You know, and I can already tell you, it's just being a small town homesteader that sells heritage breed chickens and high quality meat rabbits. All my animals are quality, but people are just losing their mind. And while it's great for me, it's good for business, in the grand scheme of things, it's not good for your preparedness plan. It's not good for your mental health. It's not good for your physical health. It's not good for you, period. So 
I encourage you guys, prep responsibly, take care of your families, be logical. Use science, use reasoning. Well, as always, guys, long live the Republic.